that primarily protect us from radiation here on Earth are our, you know, the Earth's magnetic field and the thick atmosphere that Earth has. Mars doesn't have either of those things. Right. So when you're on the surface of Mars, you're getting pretty much the same radiation dose that you do like out in space. And that's not good, right? You know, like the thing that I tell people is the movie The Martian is science fiction. One of the things that's science fiction about it is if Mark Watney really, you know, had to do all the stuff that he did in that movie, he'd come home and he'd be dead of cancer in a couple of years because he had too much radiation exposure hanging out on Mars. What about the ISS? If Scott Kelly could stay up there for a year. One of the twins. One of the one twins. One stayed on Earth and one, one went on, yeah. Right? Yeah. Why couldn't you just extend that for whatever time necessary to go to Mars? Even if it's not to live there, if it's just to go there and dig a hole and come back. Right, so there's a couple of things. First of all, on the ISS, they're still in the Earth's magnetic field. So they still have a bunch of the shielding. Oh, wait, and what's that called, Neil? Wait, the field that goes all the way out like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's called the... Oh, magnetic God. field. No, it's not the magnetic. It's the magnetosphere. Yeah, yeah think of X-Men. Yes, the yeah. magnetosphere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It is like the X-Men. Yeah. yeah, they've still got that protection. Also, if something goes wrong on the ISS, they'll be back on the surface of the Earth in a matter of hours. Like, they can just abort and come back home.